Well, good morning, farm friends. Yeah, you guys, I have something that very exciting that happened yesterday afternoon. I did try the lambs. That'll be on here, but something else happened. You guys are not gonna believe it. But I will show you guys that. So we're just gonna go on for the day. I got Mr. Turbo out here with me. And I'll show you guys him in a second. And uh, yeah, like I said, it, it's, it was a great day yesterday. It's a great day. Didn't pick up very many new followers. Picked up two more, which, hey, everyone counts. I love it. You guys just keep watching my videos. I'll keep watching them, sharing them and stuff like that. Now I'm almost at 500, but I got to get the viewership up too. To how many public hours they're watched and stuff like that. But I am really, really excited. Yeah, it's uh, it's doing really good. Hope you guys enjoyed that short yesterday and the video. Um, yeah, little man got a little vicious. Well, now, after you see this that I put on here, you'll see why. <laughs> kind of gave you a hint there, huh? All right, guys, I'm going to show you turbo and stuff, and then we'll get started with the day, and I'll show you that surprise right away. Well, guys, before we go into seeing turbo, I want to give a shout out to Clara again. Talked to her last night on the phone. So she actually found out the surprise before anybody else because she had called me when I had come in. So Clara, she told me that they had actually watched my video that I did with about the chicken embryology for them. Yeah, so that was really cool. Really cool. All right, guys. There's old Turbo. Yeah, he's all in my face. Space as usual, not Turbo. You'd like this in the morning, huh? Just while I sit down and watch you run around for a little bit, huh? Because I can't get anything else done, huh? Not until I put you up, huh? Yeah, because you get in all the spaces, huh? Yeah, he, he does. He gets into everything, huh? You get into everything if I get the chickies out, huh? <laughs> just, ooh, just, he just loves a loving, though. He just loves a loving. All right, guys. <sighs> All right, Turbo, tell them all, okay, we're going to go. Because uh, I'm going to let you run a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys can see the little beaks peeking out from under Mommy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? There are two of them are under the wing, and one's underneath her. It's a little chilly out here this morning. That's why they're all, Ooh, keep us warm, Mommy, keep us warm. Well, guys, look what happened. Yeah. Those all got hatched up where uh, I got attacked today. I'll show you how many in a minute. Well, it's kind of hard with one hand. I don't have my stuff down here. But I think there's like seven or eight. Crazy. Then this morning, but all now. Just look at that. Just a handful. A handful of babies. Too cute. I'm just worried about the big ones picking on them. That's why I'm hesitating putting them in. I'm not sure. There's the little ones, but the big ones, they're really picking on them. They're just like pecking their little beaks and stuff. But I want to see, I don't like that. That's, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Feeding time at the zoo. Uh, if you guys can see, see the little black one? He's muzzling up with the babies. I love it. It's cute. Too cute. The little Easter egg. That's cute. So you guys can see, there's the babies. They all did very well last night. Did good with the big ones. They were all good. They've all come in. Why, the big ones, look at them all coming to the camera this morning. Oh, boy. Guys, they're so cute. Let me, back, let me see if I can back it up. No. Let me stop. Now you can see them. Aren't they cute? Yeah, there's quite a few of them in here. Quite a few of them. Let me grab one of these little babies. Let's show you. Look at that little thing. Is that not cute? So there was seven of them last night born. Yeah, seven of them. Seven of those little things. That's why I put the food back in here. Because I know the big ones are munching it up for them. But that's why it was feeding time at the zoo. But that's what worked for the big ones. As soon as I put the food in there, they... Now look, you can't step on that little guy. Leave him alone. He's in my hand, huh? That's just too cute. Just cute. Mm. So, there was... Like I said, there was 
Hold on a second. Let me just flip this around. Oh, now you guys can see my dirty pen. So, guys, last night there was seven of these little suckers. Yesterday afternoon, I had uh, gone out, worked with the sheep and stuff, and, and then I had been down here and I was watching some stuff, and then my dad was, I had to go mow the lawns. So I went and mowed the lawns and stuff. That was the stuff I was talking about I needed to take care of yesterday. So I did that. And then I was inside just resting for a minute. Because I was going to come out and see if the sheep, you know, were all done eating and everything. And uh, my dad goes, there's chicks. And I said, what? There's chicks? <laughs> went down there. Yep. And there were seven of them that hatched. And you know what's so funny is when... When uh, little man attacked me yesterday, I had checked in there. There wasn't any. <laughs> I couldn't even hear a peep. And that's why I couldn't understand, you know, why was he going so crazy? Little man goes nuts, but never like that. Well, no, he knew they were hatching and he was protecting his babies. <laughs> but yeah, there's one more that started hatching yesterday. And when I went up there this morning, the egg was almost all the way off it, but it still had a little piece on it. But it seemed kind of uh, out of it. Its little neck was cricked and stuff. I left it up with Mommy right now to see what, you know, I'm going to check on it in a minute. But I don't know if that one's going to make it. You know what I mean? It just, uh, you know, it happens. It just happens. But she's still sitting on a ton of eggs. And then June had those eggs over there. I don't know if she's back on them or no, I can't tell if she's on them, but I know the the one that was in the middle, it went over to June's too. So crazy though, man, like I said, anybody want old English Spangles, <laughs> Bannies, I got plenty of them. <laughs> you live in Northern California or California, just let me know. My email is always in the description, but yeah, I'm going to put up some signs and stuff and see if I can, because that's way too many. I don't need that many. Don't need this many little ones running around. Really don't. Don't need that many little ones. But anyways, guys. Uh, we'll just go ahead and... You see what I did yesterday with the sheep and stuff? And out here and stuff like that. And yeah, we'll enjoy everything. I'm sorry I say stuff like that. It's just... It's my slang. I can't stop it. I try. I can't. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> All right. There's that new little one, guys. And she... It looks like doing good. So, but I'm going to leave it up with mommy for a while. Yeah. And let it stay warm up here until it gets its strength. And then I'll take it out. Oh, just so, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy, mommy. You did a good job. I think I got enough helpers today. Trying to clean the pen. And everybody and the brother did. All the brothers came in. Huh. You guys are just. I got these two following me. This thing is torturing. Keep catching me with the horns. And then Bello, if I put my drink down, he thinks it's his. Watch. Let's see if he does it again. He's already got it twice. This little sucker. But anyways, yeah. Well, you guys, just let me try to sleep in here, okay? Too many helpers. Too many helpers. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mom. You're too many. Who's going to let me clean? Those two little ones, they're down here. They're naughty today. Naughty. Oh, the suckers, as soon as they found out I didn't have food, off they went. <laughs> they're so naughty sometimes. Yeah, they're, too. All, they're all over there hanging out in the rickety old barn, staying away from me, eating the mineral block big mineral tub some of them I'm just oh i'm just little suckers well i got doolittle on a halter we don't know how this is gonna work but did catch him it was pretty easy he actually <laughs> was right next to me and let me just put it right on him so i gotta get the other one though so i want to have try to see if i can get both on a halter all right let's see how this works here i'm gonna stop this for a second do little well, it was really uneventful to get them on the halters. But to get them to walk, yeah, this is getting to be a different story. Come on, boys. Come walk with me. Come on. Please. Please. 
Please. Oh, guys, Mr. Gary, he's gotten kind of brave. I sat down for a second before I put them up, put him back up, and I think Sylvia went back in. And he's over here, visit, he was over visiting me. He's become a good booster. He really has. <laughs> he has. He's, yeah, I really am enjoying him. He's a good guy. You not like little man, huh? He gets crazy all of a sudden. I hope not. <laughs> Pearl baby hatch and he gets crazy. Oh no, I can't handle it. Yeah, Mr. Gary. Oh, well, we're looking at Leroy and a couple of the girls. I thought I'd tell you guys a fact, some facts that uh, <coughs> are interesting. That if you're if you got your own chickens at home, and you're all of a sudden wondering, hey, how come my chickens are have uh, stopped playing? Why are they production has gone down? Well, guys, I'll tell you. If your chickens are molting, they won't lay. So, like, my Armani's, they've been molting. So, I've been getting less eggs from them. The Bannies have not. That's why I've been getting so many friggin' eggs from them. But, uh, yeah, all my Armani's, they've been molting. So, it has slowed up on the egg production. Another thing is a lot of people say, oh, it's the cold, it's the heat or whatever. No, it's the light. The light. So, in the winter, we don't have so much light. Sun isn't out, so they're not in much light of the day. So... They have to have so much light to do the to be laying. So in California, because we don't get it's, we still have a I, like my money they lay all winter long, no problem. But you, your egg production places and stuff, they'll actually put lights in there in the winter time to keep their hens laying all the time. Very interesting, yeah. And guys, there's certain things that you know, two foods that you need to stay away from, like. Uh, they won't touch your tomato plants. They're, they don't eat the leaves. They're bad for them. The tomatoes are bad for them. Avocados are toxic for them. Same with chocolate. Keep it away from them. Yeah. But, yeah, it's really interesting. There are certain things, you know, you can't give them. And, like, raw beans. Don't give them raw beans. You know, and stuff like that. But uh, what I give my mine is I give them the layer pellets. They get the, the mealworms or the, or the fly grub. That's their treat. And then... Um, and I, sometimes I don't, it's not every day I give that to them. I do cut off some days. But the other thing is, I, I once in a while supplement mine with uh, alfalfa. Yeah, I put the alfalfa in there and I have really, I mean, my yolks are almost orange. They're so, you know, they're so deep. Yeah, it's really cool little facts like that and stuff. You know, I thought you guys might be interested in hearing. All right. All right, guys. Annie and I. We said this video, we don't want to get too long. So we're going to go ahead and end it. Huh, Hanny? Because we're trying to keep them short so that way you guys watch the whole thing and stuff. Yeah. So not too many see the sheep on it and stuff like that. But there I go again. I can't help myself. But not too much of the sheep today. But I will definitely, because I will be working with them again with the halters and stuff. And I definitely will be videotaping that for you guys. And so, because I love watching it myself. <laughs> but yeah, huh, honey? But she has to make her appearance. You know that, huh? But Theo wouldn't come here. I tried to get her, but she wouldn't come. But anyways, guys, tell them, tell them, honey. Give us that thumbs up. <laughs> Share, subscribe if you have not subscribed. And keep giving us all those lovely comments. We love them. They're, they're great. Well, guys, hopefully... Put that smile on your face today. Don't know if I made you giggle or not, but I definitely know I had to put that warmth in your heart today with those babies, huh, Hanny? We had to put the warmth in your heart. So, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And like I said, the sheep, I definitely will be doing them tomorrow. I promise I'll be a lot with the sheep. All right, have a great day. Mm -hmm.